Gary Wiggins, thanks for joining us. You're up against your former club, JD. How are you feeling? Confident, yeah. Pretty strong. Is there any animosity there between any players, anyone you're not particularly a fan of or good memories of, maybe? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Knight coached me from when I first started and he brought me up to the standard that I think is, is the DPL standard. And since then, dodgeball's progressed and developed more, but I, I have a lot of thanks to him for that. So. Anyone you particularly want a headshot, though, on the flip side of that? Pickering, actually, yeah, that's a good shout. My bro just called that one. Yeah, Pickering. Um, yeah, I trained with him a couple of weeks ago, and he kept saying, oh, I almost caught that, but I hit him in the face three or four times. <laughs> sticking his hands out, oh, I almost caught that. We, we had a good laugh with that. Well, I hope you get it. Good luck to you guys. Thank you very much. And before we analyse the game's action, just time for a quick pre-match prediction. Welcome to Leicester Minotaur's YouTube channel with me, Gavin B. Today I'm joined by team captain Dan Ryan. Hello. And today we're going to watch the uh, game of Leicester Minotaur's versus Jamie Dodgers. Now the first thing I notice on this is that Ed false starts, referee blows the whistle, we get all three balls and the Mino and the Jammy Dodgers are complaining that the game's not been restarted. What's your take on that? Uh, yeah, I think they just uh, <laughs> forgot that if you don't cross the attack line, the game doesn't stop, so... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this is another problem that I've got as well. There's a little kick from Michael over there, and this could go either way, but I got a yellow card because I hit a referee doing the same thing. Yeah, it's risky, isn't it? Sliding in and then kicking a ball off towards other people, because if it does, if it does hit somebody, you know, you're going to get a card. And the next decision here, just I can't understand, is that Ed does strike a ball, and in the rules that straight out, isn't it? Uh, yeah, um, I think the ref ruled it that there was no intent, so it didn't really make a difference on the game. But striking a ball straight out, so. I, mean, I do agree that maybe there was no intent in the, in what Ed did, and the rule, I suppose, in theory, is to stop you from striking to put a player off. But assuming that you can't make a hit off that, you can now make a catch off that. So. That doesn't matter anymore, does it? I wouldn't have thought so, but, you know, we should play to the rules we've got, not the rules we want. Exactly, and this is, I think, why games last weekend got quite heated, because of the lack of consistency. Not to have a go at the referees on this occasion, I think they did as good a job as they could do. I think lack of consistency does make it hard. Yeah, possibly. That's a nice hit by Steve off the quick attack. It is, it is, and I don't know... Mike, I think, trying to call for five seconds, I think, perhaps, but... That's not his decision to make, and that's something he's not to do that as well. Okay, but <clears throat> right now, you're 4-0 up against JD, Yeah. and I think a lot of what we're seeing here is you're taking out Sam or Ed early. Yeah, they're, they're big players. Um, the rest of them are very capable, but they seem to be confidence players, and if you can get those key figures out early, uh, you, can, you can take advantage of them. Yeah, so those first three games, either... Ed or Sam out early on a quick attack or a counter attack, and they lost 6 0. So, two, Here, two very good hits by Ed and then Sam. Right? Exactly. Sam and Ed are still in, and you're down 6 players to 3 or 5 players to 3 at this point. They're the difference, aren't they? Mm, yeah. When they're playing well, they're, they're very difficult to play against. Mm. And Mike riding the confidence of his team, though, that's a good attack. A terrible drop, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> but a terrible pre throw by Steve as well, so not just you. Okay, so game five, you're six two up, and now you've got all three balls, so where are you going? Uh, centre. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sam, he's a, he's a great catcher, Sam Mason. He is. Um, so if he's, if he's not catching well, it's, it's good to punish him and not let him get into the game, because if he does get into the game, you're in trouble. Yeah, you've got to keep Mason down, haven't you? You really do. Great play by Garin, yeah. takes Ed out. And somehow retains three balls, perfect. And there goes Sam, so now it's down to those two. Have they got enough to come back into this game? Um, that's a nice hit by Mike on Allen. Um, perhaps Allen was a bit overzealous there, releasing the, the first ball. Yeah, just like Greedo, shot first, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 8-2, and quick attacks come in. I think this, this match in particular really epitomises my point that you had with JD on this day. Three balls, out goes Ed. Yeah, Ed was, he was picking up some momentum, we had to take him out. Absolutely. Now, counter-attack, take out Sam. Yeah. Okay, so there's their two big players gone. 
And don't get, like I say, don't get me wrong. Dan, I think can make quality catches. I think Sam, as you say, is fantastic. Yeah, JD's Dan. He's really impressing. But right nearly there. had me there. Yeah, nearly had you. Didn't I? But here you, you're taking them out, and I think honestly it's because you're taking out Ed and you're taking out Sam early. Maybe the team haven't got the confidence without those two on the court, perhaps. Yeah, perhaps they they need to let their other guys play a bit more, um, get a bit more involved in the game. But mm -hmm. maybe. And in this game, Ed and Sam still in, and they start to hurt you. Yeah, that's a that's a fortunate catch by Alan. Fortunate or great? Great. <laughs> Let's not forget this is on our own channel, and I think our own team are great. <laughs> so well, you know, you're eight two. No, this is ten two, isn't it? I just don't think we should date the scoreboard. I actually get called out for a hit here. Uh, I thought I blocked it, but hey, some of you get in your favour, some of you don't. I think you did go line after that, didn't you? So all in all. He's in town. Yeah. Never too much to complain for JD, perhaps. But okay, look, Ed and Sam are in, and they're hurting. I think Mike. Mike's an interesting player. He's got quality about him, hasn't he? Yeah, I've, I've seen him make some great plays. Um, perhaps lets his frustration get the better of him at times, but maybe over emotional, perhaps. Yeah, I think we're perhaps fine ones to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, great catch by Ed. Goes for an attack and a, a jump there, and you've won. But yeah, Alan shouldn't be going for that catch, but you know maybe it bounced. I maybe. thought it did. You so live in London, don't you? We do. Still won eleven three. That's a good win over JD. Yeah, and one more game left. Dan Ryan, cracking performance today. Just Thank beat you. JD eleven three. You must feel a bit sad, as it is your former club. Not at all. I'm glad we smashed them. Not a little bit remorse of taking people out there? No. Certainly it was a decision you disagreed with when the ref called you out uh, when Sam attacked you at the dead zone? Yeah, I blocked it and he called me out. Yeah, you felt that could have gone as a block. Yeah, it was a block. You say that, I, do, I don't disagree with you, but I do think Sean was, was happy with you and didn't really argue too much with your decision. So I think, all in all, his decisions did go fairly. I think you did a good job. The way that JD played and the arguments they made, does it sort of highlight to you that many players in the game don't really know the rules of dodgeball? Tell me about it. Okay. Well, there was one incident where they <laughs> slapped the ball over and said, that's not in the rule book. It definitely is. If you go check, striking a ball is straight out. It certainly is. It certainly is. Thanks for joining us, Dan. Thanks. And after the match, we asked the Jeremy Dodgers players to come and talk to us. However, they've all declined to comment.